Hi there, this is Enemy and we're at Mad Cool Festival in Madrid and we are joined by Joe and Oscar from Metronomy. How's it Hi. going, guys? Hi, I'm great, thanks. Doing great, thank you very much. You both look great. Oh. Uh, I'll flatter you to start with. <laughs> we'll go straight into it. Salted caramel ice cream. Some people are calling it the song of the summer. Myself, maybe. Oh. Let's get the story behind that. When did you come up with that idea and just the, what, what you Yeah, the song, um, I was like... I think I was, I don't know, I was like mucking around. I mean, this is a really lame story. I was mucking around <laughs> and I kind of basically played like a 12 bar blues. <laughs> and I thought, isn't that interesting? I've never made a blues, a blues song before. And, uh, and then I just started kind of making up some nice words about, you know, comparing someone to like hot water and sparkling water. And, um, and then it got to a point where it felt a bit, it felt a bit like, like it was like it was a joke and then I thought to myself well it doesn't need to be a joke it can be a real song of the summer um, but yeah um, uh, it's it's kind of it's a you know it's a nice little tune little ditty it's, it's a great little ditty ditty's Thank the you. perfect Thank word you very right? much yeah. <laughs> well, like you said it kind of there is the comparing stuff you've got like the squash in the water you've got the mm. the drummer it kind of sentimental and fun and silly at the same time it's quite a yeah, I think um, I, I, it, it, squash. I'm, I'm. That's probably my favourite. I remember you telling me that. Was, yeah, that was your favourite one. Of all, of all no. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you first played at me, and it was like, well, this proud of this one. Yeah, the squash in the water. Is, yeah. yeah, squash. So you've got Metronomy Forever, which is coming out a bit later this year. Yep. What is the the circumstances for this one? What's changing your your guys' lives between your last album? and where you are now. I think Oscar's probably had the biggest change, haven't you? Uh, moving to America? Yeah. Yes. I live in California now uh, okay. with my wife. Uh, that's quite a big change. That is pretty big. Where were you living before? You live in... in uh, Brighton. In Brighton, yeah. okay. The California of England. The, that's what they call it. <laughs> <laughs> it is what they call it. It's, uh, yeah, so Oscar's gone. Um, <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Oscar's gone, <laughs> and uh, I yeah I was like making I don't know like uh, during at the same time I was making the Robin album and at the same time as we were kind of doing festivals like after we took a break for the last album for Summer Away and after we were doing a few festivals I was kind of writing and I mean basically like to cut a long story short I made a record which wasn't very good and and then kind of went back to earlier versions of songs and made some more music and then it was good okay <laughs> so how, it's quite, it, well, it was di it was different because it was a bit it was a bit of a it was slightly troublesome right, that's how okay. i would say it was different so you took a few kind of goes at it to really get yeah what I've, you were hoping to i've always make. been um, i've always been quite kind of um bloody minded about stuff and been very like sure of myself and, and i think it was probably the first time I've, i was less sure of myself okay yeah and so you said you went back a few few steps yeah did, did that help a few like files i guess yeah. <laughs> the, the, the truth. i mean it was well it's just funny because i did i did a load of stuff i mean oscar as oscar will will have experienced i did i did songs and i kind of worked on them and then worked on them some more and uh and then i think i gave a load of stuff to the record label and they was like oh i kind of prefer the older stuff and like to hear that is really yeah. Annoying, <laughs> but in this instance, it was a fair point. I think. Is there any any of the new versions that you miss? Um. Yeah, one. <laughs> you see, you can't please you everyone. Can't please can you? everyone, no. And so this album is kind of feels like just you guys in the studio. There's no guests on this one, as far as a. I don't think Oscar's even on it, to be honest. Uh, yes, I am. What do you do? Uh. There's that one that I played loads of electric piano on. Yeah, you know what? He's actually on quite a lot. <laughs> a big team effort there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was weird because I did, I, I kind of, when it came to giving the label that the kind of finished, well, a finished album, mm. I was sort of expecting them to say like, oh yeah, this is cool. Like, uh, go and finish it off properly. But, but they were sort of, you know, like, ah, oh, cool. Like, let's release it. So it kind of, it was... It kind of went from being a bit of an arduous thing to suddenly being like, oh, it's done. And mm. um, but yeah, Anna, like Anna sings on the record. She sings on a song called Whitsand Bay. Um, there's a track which Oscar has basically produced, actually. 
Um, is that the first time you've sort of produced a song for Metronomy? Uh, yes, I yeah. think so. Great. And that was that was quite accidentally done as well, <laughs> I guess. It kind of feels like an accidental kind of album. I mean, thing to <laughs> yeah. I mean, not wanting to sound like, you know, like it's an accident, but basically it's, yeah, a yeah. big accident. <laughs> and you guys have been playing a few shows. You played a small one in London not long ago. We gave out ice cream to everyone. Yeah. Uh, I know you're at festivals. Which, which we we noticed because the video for the, for Salt Camera Ice Cream is about... It's kind of like gelato versus Mr. Whippy is the kind of premise. Yeah, so you guys are kind of like the, the plucky underdogs, aren't you? Well, that was the idea. So in the, in the video, Oscar wins with his, like, Mr. Whippy. But then at the gig, they were giving away gelato. And we, we realised that maybe they'd missed the point. So you're worried there's a co confused message going out there to... I honestly hope there isn't. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's crossed our mind that maybe there is. Maybe. That we've, yeah, anyhow. But and then, in fact, the bad people won. Anyway, whatever. Never mind. So you're playing live again. What was it like getting back onto the stage after... You've had a few years off. Is it an easy thing to get back into the habit of playing live with the gang again? Uh, I think it is. Yeah, really. It probably takes like one or two gigs, and then, and then, then you feel a bit more comfortable in it all. I, they, I, I do occasionally read comments on YouTube and stuff, and I remember someone saying about one of our first gigs that it looked as though we weren't that uh, me in particular that I wasn't very into it or something <laughs> but I was I was just concentrating <laughs> I haven't done this for a long time so is there no yeah. concerted effort from you to look like you're smiling to make no, sure no 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 not at all but that's what I'm saying I think you know you just need a couple of gigs to sort of yeah. feel comfortable in it all and then of course it's just just as much fun as always it, it, it could also be management on the YouTube comments kind of trying to break you down in a, in a slightly <laughs> cloak and dagger way <laughs> dropping hints you know <laughs> like, yeah. I hadn't even thought of that possibility <laughs> it's throwing a real spanner in the works yeah. now it's what I do <laughs> <laughs> maybe it was you <laughs> you've given it away <laughs> that would be a mad thing it to do right it was not me so but you can see these guys who are going to be much better by the end of the year live maybe <laughs> I think at least one of us should give it a bit more effort <laughs> albums out at the end of the year tours tour throughout the SC year. Mm. You guys should hear it. Joe and Oscar from Metronomy, thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.